All right, let's just start with this part six of the Neo 2 Fairless Speedrun tutorial. Um, before we move on to the Mausoleum of Evil, I'm gonna set it up because this region is pretty uh, heavy. There's quite a few bosses. There's shoot and dodging in this mission, and then on the next one, there's four bosses. And then Ra, Yatsu no Kami, and Kasha re-encounters, plus the final boss on of that, of that mission, which is uh, Lady Sakabe. And then on the last mission of the region, will be like Tokichiro 2 and Kashin Koji, which are two bosses. So there's a lot of things in this region. Uh, before we move on to the Margin of Evil, I want you to, sh to like keep this in mind. Right now, this is what the uh, Spirit Stones look like. We have one large spirit stone, one spirit stone, two small spirit stones. The small spirit stones should should be always consistent. Unless you have used them somewhere else, you should have two. And you know, then you you would also have to have a spirit in gem. Clay bell of beckoning will be uh, will be used later. But yeah. So yeah, I don't want you to check that right now. But it's, I want to, I want you to take that into account because that's what's gonna, uh, that's basically what's gonna explain what I'm gonna do now. All right, so let's get on with it. All right. So right now I'm gonna use the splitting gem. Okay. Remember that this gives you a total of 80 uh, in the Amrita meter. So take that into account. And now approach this crystal with a maximum key and just mad spinner. There we go. As you can see, uh, Ryomen Sukuna Axe is good enough, but with the Kintaro Axe it will be easier, alright? Now open this, and use two small spirit stones. Now I got an extra one from that crystal, but it doesn't matter. And now you, you can do some menuing here. I recommend doing this, for example, okay? And now, uh, I want you to go to this place, all right. Switch to the axe. Pop Yokai Shift. Burst counter, or you know, uh, feral counter, and go forward, okay? And now start dashing. Two, and then over here, as soon as you get the, the Kasha, just pop it, okay? I'll do it one more time. I'll do it one more time. This is a setup, you know, that's uh, basically the the only skip in the run. Well, there's, technically there's another skip uh, from the previous region, but this is the only skip that it's actually 100% worthwhile. It saves like around 20 seconds, maybe a bit more. I did not time it. I just made an approximation based on all the runs. Um, but yeah. Um, there, you don't need to do the burst counter after popping the the yokai shift, but if you do, the, basically the burst counter it, or you know the the feral counter, whatever, it's gonna guarantee you to not drop. Okay, so it would also position yourself on the very edge. So when you do the 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 feral dodge, you know, just the regular dodge on on, on feral, then you would uh, be guaranteed to to drop uh, on the best position, okay? Just straight away uh, down. Um, it is possible, it is possible to do this without uh, setting up uh, like the Amrita meter and all that stuff, but it is way more dangerous. And even if you do get the skip, uh, you would need to roll it in order to not take a lethal damage uh, if I remember correctly and then you would be on a very pre uh, precarious uh, situation because you would still 
probably die because the um, the enemy right beside us uh, can just hit you as well. So I would recommend getting doing this setup, okay? All right, so remember, switch to the axe, get close, Feral Burst, dodge forward, wait for the attack, dodge it, go forward, dodging, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, and it's not good enough, this can happen, so you know, take that into account, um, ideally you're just gonna be able to to use the, the Kasha right at the end, but I, you know, did not do it properly. It's fine. Now, uh, take this chance to update your armor. Kawanami set is pretty good. The Matasa set is also pretty good. Just keep in mind that, you know, uh, aim for the um, light sets and maybe you can add some uh, medium, but mainly lights. And yeah, uh, all in stamina. All right. Go backwards. Now, yeah, I didn't explain it. Uh, I'll explain it right now. So the reason why I did that, uh, let me go back uh, here. Okay, so the issue is this guy over here and this guy over here. Okay, so by going to the right, I give this guy enough time to throw a bomb. So if uh, it, you know, basically throws when I'm not in the in the ladder and I don't fall, and I also try to lure this guy. This guy is a bit annoying sometimes because he follows you more, and he can do some uh, attacks that can actually hit you or even kill you when you're on the ladder. So watch out for that. Okay. Now dash forward through this place for the shortest route. All right, and you know, right now this this guy is not too dangerous. Just wait for full key right behind this crystal, and you know, go on the other side. Easy enough. Um, keep in mind the. Uh, well, I'm gonna do this. Then I'm gonna do this as well, just to get rid of all the sentience bar that I was accumulating. Okay, you don't need to do that if you have a Kintaro axe, for example. So, take that into account as well. Um, I would recommend healing here, actually. And... I'll explain in a moment. Alright, but... Um, for now, let's just go in. Alright, I'll explain another thing in a moment, okay? Skip the cuts in, buff with purity. Now, for this boss, uh, what I want you to consider is that the main reason why I have um, Masaru on right now, or no, no, not Masaru, um, Nekomata, which is the Feral Spirit, um, is because I'm planning to be a bit more aggressive, and many thing, many times uh, the boss is just gonna uh, attack me while I'm attacking, so that. It gives me the possibility to, of uh, getting away with a Feral Burst. Um, so take that into account. Now the main objective for now is to apply Purity and get rid of all his key. And then prepare, just like with the Atsuno Kami, prepare to not only punish when he's on red key, but also for when he transitions into Dark Realm. I want you to be able to, to apply Purity to him um, with a Heaven and Earth. Uh, as soon as he uh, transitions and then follow it up with a Flux 2 into um, Rum and Earth 2 and also take into account that uh, you should probably switch to uh, Brute if you're on Punishing phase if you feel like your uh, his key is not low enough switch back to Masaru but yeah that's the idea and the idea is, is to uh, after doing uh, Rumbling Earth, he should be really low on key, and either one or two more hits or Yatsunokami should be able to get rid of all his remaining key. 
and then you would just uh, punish him and grapple him uh, with the Yokai Shift. Okay, so pop Yokai Shift when he's down. And then I'll continue from there. Okay, so this is just like with uh, Magara no Taka. You know, you are able to do that. Um, when he does the spin, uh, you have enough uh, anima to also do um, a Feral Burst, just in case. Uh, just use the Yatsu no Kami right there. Now, over here, wait a little bit and go. Flaxu. There we go. And now, Yatsu no Kami. Oh, I, I forgot to switch, actually. <laughs> okay, now... Ryomin Sukuna... For the confusion. You can parry that, but it's kinda tricky. I failed to do that. Yeah, I remember to switch to... Masaru, no, not Masaru. I keep saying Masaru because it's the, the other one, but yeah, it's not Masaru, technically. So yeah, that was very messy. I, I messed up for a lot, but it's fine. I'll do it again. Don't worry. Alright, so, um, if, okay, I'll just do it right now. If you are afraid of losing your Amrita, or you're just practicing and uh, you, th you don't feel like you, you want to do like all the things, or uh, you can just die there, okay, then drop down here, go to the right, drop down here, go back and get this. That should set up everything so your, uh, the shortcut to the boss is, is ready. Okay, so in this case, those are two intentional deaths, just for the sake of getting the, the shortcut and all that stuff. It is slower, okay, it is slower, but not too much. You're gonna lose a little bit of experience, but we, are, we just leveled up, so it's fine. The good news is that now, if you die to the boss, uh, and you haven't used your Amrita, you will not lose it. If you do die to the boss, and you need to do that, then you would you would lose your your Ambrita, okay? So yeah, let's um, actually use two, it's better. I'll explain later why. Uh, two large spirit stones. Uh, also, I kinda messed up there. I'll just use... Um, I didn't change the thing, so I, I'll just use uh, the corruption. It's fine. Come on. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> there we go, switch to that one. Oh, really? I'm just gonna grapple. I'm not interested in, in going for it right now. Right. Okay, now, so so now I'm interested in going brute. There we go. Now use German Sukuna. You can parry that quite easily, actually. Use Yatsu no Kami. Easy club. Good amount of damage right there. And you can finish off with uh, Raven Sukuna. I'll do it another, one more time, okay? Because I did uh, mess up a little bit. Okay, let's go. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you another way of doing this. Um, when I get him to red key or close to red key, I will switch to a uh, brute and I will aim for uh, confusion in order to be able to punish him more. Okay, 
and then we'll do, you know, depending on what happens, uh, we'll do one fit on another. Okay, but uh, keep that in mind. Okay, very cool. Watch that. Get in. Watch that. Okay, follow up. Watch that. There we go. Switch to root. There we go. There we go. Now he's confused. This is perfect. Now we grapple. And you may have noticed that I have uh, corruption on. So we're just gonna do a nerf here. Oh, I messed it up. It's okay. It's not okay, but you will just pretend that it's okay. 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 Gonna okay, path with purity. Okay, now we punish and another Ryomin Sukuna. There we go. Oh, I'll do it again. Alright, let's see if I can show you a better fight. Because I've been getting screwed over by RNG all the time. Okay. There's another good punish for Heaven and Earth. I'm gonna switch to uh, Brute. There we go. We have a Sukuna. A couple of Heaven and Earths here and there. Black Liquidity. Heaven and Earth. Black Stu. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Root. Go, that's a bit better. One, two. Parry. Parry that as well. There we go. It's a good showing, actually. I'm pretty happy. Finally, I get a good, you know, a decent RNG. Good. Okay. So that was actually a pretty good fight. Um, that's pretty much as good of a fight you're gonna get with the Ryo Mitsukuna Axe. And, you know, obviously if you have a Shoot and Doji Axe, it's gonna be, you know, faster, easier, and all that stuff, okay? So, now, make sure to pick up everything here, okay? You will always, 100% guaranteed, get a Shoot and Doji Club, okay? It will be probably different priorities, I think it... It's minimal uh, yellow rarity, uh, and I think it can be uh, purple. I don't remember. It's not a big deal. Uh, they are they are all good. Like you can do the rest of the of the any percent uh, with this, and it should not be a big issue. Okay, so this is good enough. In the next mission, you might be getting better things like the Ameno Mahitotsu's axe. But this, this one is good enough, okay? So yeah, go forward. And change to shoot and dodgy and update your sword for the strongest one if you have time, okay? I, I was looking for a decent fight to show. Uh, but you know, obviously with a uh, Rimitsukun Axe, it's way harder to find. Uh, so I spent, like right now, it's, it's showing me a bit over an hour, okay? Just from the start. So you'll probably see like, probably three fights, uh, if not four. Uh, but yeah, that's just finding that proper RNG and also, you know, optimizing a little bit things. Uh, just for the Ryomin Sukunax because I'm used for the I, I'm used to just do things a bit safer and with a, 
uh, what is it called? With a Quintaro's axe, okay? So, yeah, you don't need that. Skip the cuts and. Um, let's go. The Golden Castle is gonna be the longest mission in the any percent. And I think also the DLC. I'm not too sure. But yeah, um, pretty important, uh, this mission. The first fight is probably going to be the hardest one, followed by the last fight of this mission. So, yeah. So you can do two things here. You can either just use a red spider lily or a lantern plant fruit. It is a bit more optimal to use the lantern plant fruit, but I recommend the red spider lily just in case. But before we do that, let's use three spirit stones or equivalent. Um, and yeah, I forgot. Use that. <laughs> now just dash as fast as you can and get through the door as fast as possible. Then as soon as you get past, buff with purity. Now. What you're gonna do is basically uh, make sure that you have enough time to do a heaven and earth um, just to apply purity fast and also do some good key damage. And then after that, depending on your situation, you might be able to do high stance and strong attacks, you might be able to do another heaven and earth, you might be able to do some uh, titanic strength, or you might be able to even do rumbling earth, okay? Um, the strat really starts the moment that you get rid of all his key, or you know, almost get rid of all his key. And then you just use Yatsu no Kami, then do um, a couple more attacks, like a Heaven and Earth, for example, and then pop Yokai Shift to grapple uh, with Brute, of course. And then it's just a very simple after that, it's just a charge attack. Uh, Followed by uh, uh, Rimen Sukuna. And then, depending on what you see, you might be able to just uh, attack normally until you are able to do another Yatsu no Kami and then finish the fight, most likely. Or you might be te tempted to do a parry, uh, but you know, trust uh, first the attacks and then, depending on what you see, you act accordingly. Okay, let's go. Okay, that's not good. But it's fine. So yeah, the jump is not something that I want to see. But it's fine. Um, okay, somehow that hit me. That hit me again. Okay, great. Amazing. That's an Okami. Full. Um, okay, I wasn't able to do the full one. It's okay. Doesn't matter. Okay, shift. Do that. Come in, uh, I was tempted to parry right there, but I couldn't do it. Yeah, it's gonna come me again. I'll do it one more time. So yeah, he was dead there. In case you, you didn't realize. It's once you get to the to the part where you use the Jatsuno Kami the first time, the fight becomes very easy. It's uh, completely up to just doing um Brute stuff. Um, honestly, you can you can think about just not even going for the power. You just go full harm, like uh, three attacks followed by a, a brute counter should work. But also take into account one thing, and that is that if he goes for the bread attack, you know the the, the burst attack and you're attacking, you might be into trouble. So make sure to pay attention to what he's doing. Because, yeah, it might be dangerous. All right, buff with purity. Then after that, it's a good timing to attack. Do not be afraid to do that as well, it's fine. That's an Okami, then full. Heaven and Earth. Oh, Yokai Shift, Grapple, Charge Attack, German Sakuna, 1, 2, 
three. Good counter. Yatsu no Kami, one, two. And Yokai Shift for the end. Pretty simple. Just the, the, the thing that you need to be careful of is uh, the start. I got a Mahi, Ame no Mahitotsu axe, also changed to Masaru, or no. So yeah, I got this axe, I'm not gonna equip it just to show you that you can still do everything with uh, with this, you know, with the bare minimum. Um, but that's gonna be the best, honestly. It's gonna give you more DPS, uh, you don't really need the extra key damage right now. So yeah, it's really good. Okay, so if you still have the shoot and dodge clap, make sure to remember to do that. Uh, this is a safety run that you can take. I say that like just just to be careful with your um, sentience bar. Okay. All right. So let's go to the next boss. Also, not very hard. Um, there's several setups. I'll show you what I used to do, and then I'll I'll show you what I what I normally, you know, what I did the last few times. So yeah, buff, run to him, and then start doing my spinner. Okay, so that's why I stopped doing that. Because there's no guarantee to uh, for the Yatsuno Kami to actually do that every time. But yeah, once you get the red key, make sure to use Kasha. Pretty easy. There we go. Don't use uh, Yokai Chef right now, it's not really worth. Yeah, I just I didn't feel like using anything, but you know, don't don't be afraid to use uh, the the anima. I just didn't feel like to, like doing that, but don't be afraid to, of using it because you're still gonna recover it right here. Okay, you're gonna recover all your anima. So yeah, I'll do it one more time, and this time I'll do the the setup that I normally do. Um, if everything went according to normality, I would have been able to use Kasha as soon as uh, the first, the second attack happened, which normally is a uh, tail swipe, okay? And then you continue from there. But you know, because of what happened here, that's why I don't really use this anymore. All right, buff, lock on to the main body. One, two, have it or not. Box two. Okay. Now, Kasha right there, full, cover and nerf, quick one. There we go, I'll recommend using Kasha here, do another cover and nerf, more Kasha, GG easy. I'll show you with um, with Ameno Mahitotsu, now that I have it. So you can have an idea of what happens with that as well. Okay, buff opportunity, switch to the main body. One, two, Ameno Nerf. Flux to Ameno Nerf. Kasha. Full Ameno Nerf. More have a nerf or not. More Kasha to the main body. There we go. More Kasha. So as you can see it's still pretty strong, right? You don't need any any kind of corruption or anything. And it works pretty well. Okay. So I'll switch back to the shoot and dodgy club, just uh, so you can see. Yeah, we've got some pretty good um, armor right there, but I want you to focus on shifting. 
Okay, make sure to get those two, especially the bottom one. And get this. Now switch to the... Oh yeah, uh, switch to the... Um, you should do it earlier, but uh, switch to the Shirohami or, you know, the Brute Spirit. Guardian Spirit and update your Yatsunokami to the better one, okay? Just for the extra damage and all that stuff. Now let's go to the next boss. You already know the deal with this one. It's gonna be pretty simple. It's all about the start. Buff. Lock on. Okay, got a bit unlucky there, it's okay. I have a nerf. I can do some high stance strong attacks as well. Some Titanic Shred. Some okay. Now Yatsunokami. And now she's basically dead. Right? One, two. And you don't even need to grab them. I'll do it one more time. Security. Lock on. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. It's fine. Alright. As I saw, that should be good enough here. And. That's an Okami. Bitch slap. One, two. And you can just grab it. Alright. So next up is Lady Osakabe. Now, you can get uh, what I'm gonna take here, but there's no necessity. Like, you don't need to. Uh, also, switch to the Nekomata. Kick down this, okay, and you don't need to do this because you know you don't need to uh, quit out or anything like that, like I'm gonna do later, maybe. Uh, but yeah, just you don't need to get the shrine again, okay? You already have it. You just need to kick down the the ladder if you feel like you might die, or you want to make things more safe, okay? So over here, there's a Summer Scandal, you could get it, uh, I am not gonna get it, but uh, you know, it's there right there, okay? Now, there's a Scampus here, you can also get it if you want, I'm not going to get it, but if you feel like you want uh, a bit of extra help, get the Scampus as well. And, you know, normally you would be here, okay? I'm gonna explain a little bit. So you'll be here, you'll go to the right, and the Magatsu warrior that is right now there would normally be here, okay? Here, right next to this uh, crystal, and about to move forward. So it was kinda unfortunate that I did that, because I cannot show it right now. I kinda should have. Um, but um, basically the idea is that you would just wait where I am more or less until you see him leave the, the spot and then just go in, use Yatsu no Kami and then do a high stance strong attack with the, with, the, with the axe or hammer or club that you have and the crystal will die. So I am gonna... I'm gonna actually restart the... I'm gonna restart the positioning of uh, the enemies and hopefully uh, it works the way I think and I can actually trigger the the proper... Okay, so assuming you went from Kasha directly there, you should probably find this... There we go. That's that's what I thought. It behaves the, the way that I thought. Okay, so the, as soon as you see that, you have to know Kami and you know, a couple of them and it's, it's good. Okay, now you don't need to buff here at all, okay? Just go with the axe, skip this, get right here, and as soon as you see it pop, that, and that, okay? So what I did there was, I was on high stance, I did uh, run by nerf, and then I keep pulsed, and I switch weapon. I have, you know, we learned this, uh, 
after defeating Yuki, or when defeating Yuki, uh, we have flash attack. So I basically did a flash attack from the axe to the sword. That's basically the fastest way to get rid of all the key and bring the tentacle down. Okay. Now, I want to switch back to the axe and start doing match spinner 2. There we go. Flux 2 and get prepare here. Same thing. There we go. Now you can use a Jatsu no Kami here because you will recover enough anima uh, later. Now touch that. Do the same thing. There we go. Is that the timing is pretty rough on that one actually? So it's okay if you don't get it uh, properly. Like if you don't get it very fast. It's pretty rough timing. So yeah, same thing. There we go. Now avoid that. If possible. There we go. Okay, good. Now, if you're using... Okay, so what I did there. Depending on if you're doing any percent with DLCs, or if you're doing any percent without DLCs, okay, just regular any percent, you might want to take out the sword and get some proficiency right there. It, would, it should be more or less the same speed as with the axe, but if you're not doing with DLCs, there's no real reason to do that. It's just that uh, if you do that, uh, then you're gonna get a bit more proficiency and you're gonna get two skill points instead of only one on, from this fight. Uh, that's also helped by the flash attack, of course. Um, but yeah, I'll explain later why, you know, in the DLCs when it, when it's time. Well, I, I guess I'll just explain it now after this fight, but yeah. Um, just take that into account, okay? That's mainly for the DLCs. Now, uh, I want you to go to Shifling and get as many Dragon, Dragon Eco as you want. Or as you can, rather. Now, you only need one. You don't need the, the flash attack now. The, just doing the... Um, what is it called? The rumbling nerf is good enough. And yeah, make sure to use Yatsunokami here. It's gonna be faster. You recover even more anima when you're in the Dark Realm. You already know that. You should already know that. Okay, that's terrible. So yeah, um, paralysis is pretty bad. It's fine. I I just missed time the the dodge. But yeah, be careful with that for sure. Paralysis is very annoying. And yeah, this should be good enough to trigger the final part. And then you can do the same. There we go. Now switch to uh, Brute. Grapple with the sword. And yeah, get this and this. Okay, so that's the Relentless one is basically the main idea of why I wanted that uh, extra proficiency. Skip the cutscene. You know, and then you finish the mission, you know, pick up uh, everything that you find useful, including the Soul Core. This should be the last Soul Core that you want to take, by the way. Because uh, apart from that, there's no real other reason to to get more proficiency. Like you just want the final part of this. Um, you could, you know, in the DLCs you could get some more, uh, but I feel like it's not really necessary at this point. It's not really gonna give you that much benefit. So, you know, I leave it at uh, Dragon Echo three. Feel free to, to do, get more. I'll do this fight one more time, okay? Okay, so same setup as before. Let's a little bit. Use Yatsunokami. And Yatsunokami betrays you and you hate everything. Yeah, that's that's always fun. Anyways, let's continue. Doesn't matter. Okay. 
Primary nerf. Flash attack with a sword. And then mat spinner too. Flux two. Get ready. Oh, okay. I messed up. It's fine. Now remember that you only need a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, and uh, be careful with the lasers. They have different patterns of following you. Sometimes they go where you are, sometimes they go where you and they think you're going, and other times it's just I don't know what the fuck they're doing. So yeah, be careful with them. Alright. There we go. More mud spinner too. Yeah, be careful with the lasers. They're a pain in the ass. Alright. There we go. Rumble nerf 2. Well, it's not 2. It's just Rumble nerf 1. I do not recommend getting Rumble nerf 2, actually. I don't think you can, actually. Yeah, you, you need the, the other dojo. Never mind. Oh, I haven't said anything. Okay, that's Kami. Watch that. Rumble Nerf. More Mud Spinner. Ah, oh, come on. So that's annoying. The Lightning Debuff is not what you want to see. Definitely. So, yeah. Ah, uh, it's fine. Okay, that should be good enough. Doesn't matter. So with the sword. Get that. Should be good enough, no? Yes, good. Like I said. It's enough. I'll explain a backup if you do not get enough proficiency. Uh, it will be on the next region, don't worry about it too much. Alright, get the soul core and go forward. Now make sure to update your sword so it's the strongest one and also the axe so it's the strongest axe. Okay, don't go for the hammer, you know that. We don't want hammers right now, we don't want hammers anymore. Uh, just go with either the club or an axe that is stronger, okay? All right, just a reminder that uh, this is what you're supposed to do in this menu. It's just that I forgot to do it, okay? So just keep that in mind. So yeah, we got some pretty neat rewards right there. I don't know if you noticed. But yeah, like for example, I would go with Amino Mahitosu's axe, okay? It's very good. Uh, yeah. There's also this later axe, but you know, I would still go with a shoot and dodge club. Sh I didn't explain it, but shoot and dodge club has good key damage and uh, damage. I think it behaves more like an axe, more than anything. Yeah, it, it behaves like an axe, actually. Um, But I don't know, I get the feeling that it's kind of like a, a, a little bit better. I don't know, it might be just uh, placebo. Anyways, let's go. Cherry Blossom Beaming in Daigo. Alright, so nothing too much to worry about right now, uh, ready the items, 
just dash around. I'll explain uh, one glitch that, uh, you know, it's the older glitch that you need to be careful about. But this is even more troublesome because it's later in the run and it might mess you up a lot. So yeah, search this, get the item because it's a key that you need in order to go through this door. Alright. And now if you have a strong enough uh, sword, you should be able to just pass that. There we go. Okay, so my sword is not very strong. If you got a really strong sword, um, that uh, morning moon would actually kill it. But that's like if you get if you get very lucky with the sword, honestly, like you need to be getting lucky. Okay, so apart from that, uh, you might have noticed that I just did uh, flux into mid stands uh, quick attacks. That's what I recommend getting, and you know make sure that as soon as you kill it, just. You just uh, flux again into low stance and start dashing. Now, what happens in the rare case of them killing you after breaking the rock? That is very bad news. Not just because you died and you need to start uh, from the uh, from the start of the of the mission again, but because the progress got saved wrong. Okay, this is a glitch that has been around. Um, always and they never fixed it I don't know why um, but yeah if you break that rogue and they kill you the scampers that are pretty crucial for the strats that we're gonna do it's not like you absolutely need them to to kill the, the bosses but they're gonna make uh, the, the strat you know they're gonna make the fights so much better um, but yeah like I, I was saying um, if you die there after breaking the rock, those scampers that are so useful are not going to spawn. They just won't spawn at all. So you'll be left without scampers. That is fatal. That is so bad. That is so, so bad. So yeah, make sure that if that happens, I would advise that you if you don't want to reset, okay, you should uh, quit application and then go back. You're gonna save more time, okay? Just try to avoid dying here at all costs, like after breaking the end rock. If you feel like you're gonna die, just die before breaking the rock. That's gonna be better, okay? But yeah, if you, if you do die before the game loads, make sure to close application real quickly and then uh, come back okay on pc you would need to alt f4 i guess <laughs> but yeah let's continue at this point go to the menu and use two lumisec crystals we're gonna need them now over here you're gonna start doing some other menus like for example this you know, just update your stuff. Plus this Gozuki, there's this, which is a split paddle and a large spear stone. Both are, of them are pretty useful. Uh, prepare the learn skills menu. Now, in this one, it is less dangerous. So you can go a bit more aggressive. With your key. But yeah, it's the same idea, okay? It's just that it is less likely that you're gonna die there. Which is kinda unfortunate, because, yeah. It's kinda annoying. Anyways. Get the uh, scampus. I, I don't have enough, but uh, if you have enough, get the, you know, to go to the learn skills menu and learn the, the last uh, dragon echo. That'll be ideal. And I want you to prepare the items menu again okay now over here you save enough and dash 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 joker shift and just spam square as soon as you break it cancel it with the r1 uh, circle probably should have mentioned that before but yeah 
Now you get this shrine. Level up quickly, okay, quickly, because the, the timer is kind of running for the for the little guy. Okay, so I made a mistake. Um, I forgot to do one thing that you're supposed to do earlier before entering the, the, the mission. When the Lady Sakabe Soul Core menu pop up, pops up after completing the mission, okay, um, you should actually uh, menu so you update your Kasha and the Atsunokami Soul Cores. Just like, uh, for example, this right here. It'll be on here, and this will be here, right? So you would just update to Kasha and Jatsu no Kami, just like that, vale? Okay? Now, if you haven't done that, and you've gotten the, through the this mission, and you've gotten to this uh, shrine right here, you should just uh, do the same thing as I did before, you know, so level up all stamina, and then quickly do this menu. All right, and then get the cut. You know, the other cut. I will have to do that now. I'll have to go back and get the cut and all that stuff, just so I can show you properly the the, the first try fight. Uh, and then, you know, I'll show you what happens on the second try, okay? So be ready. All right, so let's pretend that I did the menu here. And just get the cut and use a limit side crystal it's better than the last spirit stone since it gives us more more amrita and also uh, you know it's three instead of having uh, no, an even number okay so now we buff with water and let's explain this fight um, so what you really want at the start is uh, for him to give you an opening. There are several aspects that you need to take into account this uh, for this boss. The main thing is that if you see him do uh, like the the big jump into a slam, that's a bit of a bait because he can follow it up with a with a. Uh, Son of the Cross, so be very careful with that. Apart from that, uh, just take the uh, uh, good enough opening and start doing uh, from high to low uh, stances. Start doing some um, titanic strength, okay? The moment that uh, you have Tokichiro at uh, red key or very, very low key. When I say very very low key, it's like pretty much one. And then use Kasha and just go ham on him. Depending on the situation, you might want to do some high stance strong attacks, or you might be able to do uh, Heaven on Earth, or the most likely scenario, you might want to do uh, uh, Mad Spinner 2. After that, he will transition to the Dark Realm, or he will actually get staggered and you, you can actually uh, grapple. If that happens, then the, the fight should be pretty close to, the, uh, to be done, but uh, uh, that's not very likely. And the next thing that you're probably gonna see is uh, him transitioning to the Dark Realm, at which, at which case, if you do have at the time enough for Kasha, you could go and see transitions uh, into Kasha. You know, you could use Kasha right there, but otherwise, just wait and he should do a, a burst attack pretty early and it's very likely there will be a burst attack that you can just counter with Feral. You counter it and then just use uh, Kasha or Jatsu no Kami. I would m recommend Jatsu no Kami more unless he's very close to being like uh, confused or something like that but uh, I don't think that's gonna happen uh, as easily. So yeah, that's overall the strat, uh, and then after that, just kind of finish the fight, honestly. So yeah, open. Let's see what happens. Okay, so that's a good enough opening right there, that attack. 
Okay, yeah, I I didn't keep pause somehow. Okay, so now this one. There we go. Okay, so perfect RNG actually. Nice. Skip buff. Use uh, uh what is it? Clay bill of awakening. There we go. Get the stuff and touch. Now let's see. So that's that's pretty annoying. Like that attack is very annoying. I'll explain a little bit more in a moment. But yeah, basically the idea is this. Kind of destroy him from the start. There we go. Now we have enough anima, so Kasha, Pop Joker shift, trap him in the corner. There we go, that's perfect. Yeah, to Nokami, that's perfect. Okay, that's a really good fight. Um. I'll do it again, and I'll I'll explain before we start the fight. I just kind of got uh, <laughs> a bit excited. <laughs> All right, so let's say that you died to Tokichiro 2 or something, just because Tokichiro 2 can be a pain in the ass and give you terrible RNG and all that stuff. You still have access to this cat, okay? Unless you died very very slowly, but normally you would die faster. And you know, you have less key damage from less cats attacking and also less animal region from, you know, obviously less cats as well. So, you know, it's gonna be a bit harder, but it's still, it's still very much doable. Okay, there's a good opening. There we go. Skip. Rhythm going. Do not drop the combo. Get close. Match spinner. Okay, just or not because reasons. Just don't get too aggressive because uh, he's a master of punishing everything. Okay. Okay, there we go. It's more or less. Buff with purity and use the clay bell of beckoning quickly before the cat runs out. And now, over here, this guy. Uh, normally, you have three cats, obviously, like I showed before. Um, this attack that he's doing right now, this fire attack, is the worst one because it sucks dick. Um, it even has feathers. Those damn feathers. Anyways, um, you just cannot really punish it much <laughs> at all. He, he just. It's pretty much like a safe move for him. But um, ideally, you want to just uh, do high sense strong attacks or even um, heaven on earth whenever possible. Otherwise, you can do some uh, dash, misstance, uh, strong attacks. Um, and the moment that you bring him down to zero key and he has purity on, use Kasha and keep the pressure on. You know, try to um, go ham and bring him down to, you know, bring him to the down state so you can actually grapple him. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, this is a good attack to punish. There we go, now. There we go, that's good, Kasha. There we go. So now I'm gonna save my key a little bit and start doing Mad Spinner. And he's low enough for that, so let's do that. Now Kasha. Pop Jokai shift. There we go. That's an Okami. 
more Kasha. And he's dead. That's pretty much GG. Like that's that's good enough. Change to uh change to brute. So you saw the idea. The idea is that since you have at least two cats, unless you know the moment that you don't have cats for these two fights, um it's basically doing the same but with more patience and just waiting more. So I don't feel like I need to to you know show that. The idea is that you will you're gonna have cats helping you. That's the strat, uh, you know, within all the, all the other things, of course. Um, but yeah, with all that you have, with all the anima region and whatnot, Kashin Koji becomes so much more manageable than without Scampus, like I used to do on all strats. Um, so both uh, phase one and phase two are pretty simple nowadays uh, with the right uh, setup. That's why I save that uh, clay veil of beckoning that the uh, Mumio gave us at the start of the third region. All right, so let's go. More forward, uh, update your stuff if you need to. I'm not going to do that. And, uh, you know, skip the cutscene and go forward. Still need to... We're back in the interim. We don't need to talk to her, but yeah. And this region is already very, uh, very long. So I'm not gonna add the next region on top of that. Uh, region 7 is gonna be way shorter. But yeah, I'll use you know i'll just this is just a cutscene mission you don't need to really pay attention to it just do it and it will port you back and uh, port you to the to the next region So yeah, it's basically two uh, two cutscenes that you need to skip. This is gonna be much faster in depending on if you have a a fast PC or if you have a PS5. But yeah, with that we're on Afterglow. It's only two missions, the Blue-Eyed Samurai and then the the other one that I forgot the name of. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys there. Bye-bye.